So this um, video we will talk about how to uh, create a page layout with Flex. And so display Flex, we will first uh, create a wrapper for the page and then we'll create a row and column class. So the row class will be display flex, flex direction, row, flex, wrap, wrap, and width 100%. The column class will be display flex, flex direction, column, flex basis 100%, which means the default for any column type uh, element will be a 100% occupancy. And flex ratio of one means that any if there's multiple columns, they will all be of equal size. If uh, flex was two or three, it would be take up space in that ratio. Now flex uh, basis and flex uh, grow and flex shrink are three options where if you have multiple flex uh, items in that space, flex basis is the default space for an item. Uh, flex grow is the ratio with which the extra space is used and flex shrink is if there's a shortage of space then how much each element should shrink so usually by default that would be one and um, usually flex grow is often used as a way to define the ratio on the different flex elements so the default um, kind of becomes flex one one and zero where the first item is the flex growth second is the flex shrink and the third is flex basis but in this case we're setting the flex basis to 100 percent and not zero percent all right uh, if you want to learn more about that you can read more about flexbox let's continue with how to create our layout so the next thing is if we want a two column layout, we're basically just going to put the wrapper. We're going to put two a row inside the wrapper, and then we're going to create two column uh, divs within the row. And then we can specify what the specific content of that column is, right? So in this case, blue column in some text and some green column in text. So the CSS here basically just becomes the row column and the page wrapper and then the column, um, sorry, blue column and green column, uh, just to give it color so you can see the columns. And so here's the result uh, of the container containing a blue and a green column. The margin on the page wrapper was given as 15 pixels, so that's why you see some space around the page um, margin all right now if you want to add a third column simple just create another column in the row and here you have it now if you want to have a um, more complicated layout all you're doing is creating row and column classes and um, you can get two rows with three columns in each one here. You can create a double column just by giving a flex with a ratio of two. So the flex grow is two. The flex shrink is one and the flex basis is 100% as specified here. And in this case, you will end up with a double column. And then if you wanted to move things, for example, if the width was more than 800 pixels and you wanted to say that you want to have columns take flex 1, double columns take flex 2, and if it's less than 800 pixels, maybe you are trying to change it to the columns to being taking up the whole space and being a single row um, and so here you can see the 
columns are basically inside the media query and otherwise they just take up the divs take up their own rows and that's essentially it